Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image.com. We've got Zishan writing in, hope I'm saying that right, on the email. The heading of this email is Canon 80D versus M50. Image quality, no video. I like Canon colors. So obviously, we're, we've got a question here about the image quality comparing the relatively new Canon EOS M50 versus the Canon 80D. So he says, hello, Matt. This is Zishan. Hope you're well. I'm a big fan of photography, and I would like to know, is the M50 have better ISO performance, and what battery grip will work with the M50? I'm a casual shooter from Pakistan, interested in my first cameras. I shoot vertical portraits 95% and landscape portraits 5%. Hope to hear from you, and thanks in advance. Please, uh, Zishan. Well, thanks very much for your question. And first of all, to address image quality, I've said it before, and I've said it again. Uh, the ADD and the M50, uh, basically the M50 is like a baby ADD, um, similar to the SL2. Uh, the SL2 really is like a, a baby ADD. It's a little, little version of the ADD in an SLR. And the M50 is basically a smaller, lighter, mirrorless version. Uh, I'm not going to say they're absolutely perfectly identical, but for all intents and purposes in real-world shooting terms, these three cameras share basically the same sensor. They're all the 24-megapixel APS-C Canon sensor, the one with the colors and the resolution we've come to love. Very good performing. Not the absolute top of the class for dynamic range and high ISO. In fact, Nikon and Sony, they take that crown. However, in real-world terms, virtually identical um, and totally competitive with the competition, just not, when you look at the specs, a little bit of ISO, a little bit of dynamic range in favor of Nikon and Canon, or sorry, Nikon and Sony. In any case, uh, for all intents and purposes, the M50 and the ADD are virtually identical, uh, especially in real-world shooting terms as far as image quality. Uh, and yeah, Canon colors, lots of people like them. That's something Canon nailed down a long time ago, the Canon color science. And it definitely has a look and a feel, and people really like it. As far as your question about a battery grip, uh, I'm not really aware of any battery grips out yet. Um, perhaps somebody else, one of you viewers, if you've seen one, let us know in the comments below. I had a quick look. I don't see any available yet for the M50. Uh, I don't know if there's one coming. Probably Canon will release one, although I don't know because I would have thought Canon would have done that with the camera. I myself am not a big fan of battery grips. I used to use them all the time, especially when I shot a lot of weddings and in the early days. Um, these days, I actually like smaller and lighter, so it's been a long time since I've used or owned a battery grip for any of the cameras I shoot with because I'd rather just have it in its smaller and lighter version. So I don't buy them, don't use them, don't think about them much. Um, perhaps one of our viewers will chime in. Um, I suspect... If Canon doesn't release one, then at least uh, one of the aftermarket companies will eventually. Uh, but that remains to be seen. Very popular camera, so very likely one will come out. But at the moment, I'm not aware of one. So unless one of our viewers chimes in in the comments below and links to one, I'm not aware of one that is available. So that's my answer to your question. Essentially, you've got the same sensor, same performance in the ADD and the M50. Let me throw it back to our viewers. For those of you that have shot both... What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Is it essentially the same performance? Um, have you seen a slight advantage to either one? I've shot them both. I don't see any real-world advantages, but I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. Always great to get your feedback when our viewers are writing in with a question. Let us know what you have to say in the comments below. Thank you for your question, and stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.